What's up everyone, my name is Syndikill and welcome to my let's play of Super Mario 64. Today we are doing some a few little different things, but mainly we're going to be doing our Bowser level. And I also wanted to show you that every time that you turn off the game, you will start here in the courtyard of the castle with four lives. So to the Bowser level we go. The star door is our Bowser levels, unfortunately. And this star door actually only takes eight. We have 24, so we actually have triple of what we need. I like to gather up a lot of extra stars, just on the off chance. So what you want to do is just run until you get to there. Wahaha, you've stepped right into my trap, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend, watch your step. So this is Bowser in the dark world, so. You may notice that there are red coins in this level. Yes, there are eight red coins. And yes, we are going to be getting all eight red coins to get a star. Our first red coin, you gotta step on that switch, come back all the way to the front, get on those blocks and get that first red coin. The second red coin is gonna be right here. We just gotta do this one more time. Oh, nearly don't do what I just did there. And now we're gonna continue on. So we just got our two red coins. There's a few more that we're gonna get to here in just a few minutes. Go around. This is probably the best music. Well, okay, it's not quite the best music in Super Mario 64, but take a listen. That just such an amazing song it's so good so yeah i hope you've been paying attention because we've just gotten up to six red coins the third red coin over there right next to that crystal the fourth one right there right next to that yellow block all you have to do is just drop down and grab it the fifth one was right over there in the corner the sixth one right here they're pretty easy to get to you just got to be very careful especially right in here be very careful as you go back because you kind of really can't see the platform too well. And also just because of the physics with Mario, it does get a little bit weird as you go along. So the next red coin is coming up. The last two are kind of in rough spots, especially this one. I gotta remember where it is. It's right over there. Okay, there's seven. The last one is on top, unfortunately. I messed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Thought I had messed up there. Thought I got a little scared. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Well, that could have been interesting, to say the least. What we want to do is use this platform to pull it down so we can get on here and get to the eighth red coin. There you go. That's where the eight red coins are here in the Bowser in the Dark World. Now we just got to get to the very end and grab that star, which is kind of easier said than done at times. I'm gonna try and make that and try to make that. All right, you cannot walk up this, unfortunately. Thankfully, they put like a nice little switch right here to give you a platform to jump up. Now you gotta hurry though, cause it will go down. There is our star. Here we go, indeedy. You bet we're gonna save. And that is the eight red coins. Once you beat Bowser, you will never have to come back in here. That is the only star you have to get. There's no hundred coin star in here. And say hello to the big Bows himself. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toastal isn't here. <laughs> Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do exactly what he said. What you want to do is get behind him, punch his tail, like so, and... Twirl your control stick around and around and around and around and aim for those bombs. Press, I think it's the punch button to release again. And if you miss, don't worry, you get extra chances as long as you're alive. Uh, nope, I did not mess up. I, did, I messed up. That was not a good spot. So, yeah, if you miss, like I said, you got extra chances. Don't worry. I'm not a very good throw with him. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Come on, Keel. Oh my gosh. I am struggling. This is the Let's Play curse. When I did my practice run of this, I did it perfectly. I did it on the first try and everything. Oh my gosh. You notice he's kind of getting closer and closer to the edge. Kind of trying to help you to actually get him. Oh, that was close. It was close to that one. Oh. Hey, yeah, if you do hit him, you'll take a little bit of damage. Don't worry. Also, oh, well, good grief. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Actually try to get him. <laughs> there we go. Yay, we did it. Yay. Okay. Grr, I was a bit careless. Same. This is not as I had planned, but I still hold the power of the stars. And I still have Peach. But <laughs> you'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. And he bursts into a key. Hmm. I wonder what that key is going to be for. Well, let's find out. Also, we got quite a few coins and another one up because we got just over 50 coins, which is pretty cool. Our health is refilled, so we don't have to worry about that too much. So we got a key. Whoops. Try that again. Oh my god. Okay. Hey, we got a locked door right here. Maybe it'll fit here. This key doesn't fit. Maybe it's for the basement. Ah, well, I guess that gives you the clue of where it needs to go. So the basement is through this door right here, actually. And right down here. There's a lock right here. And we will open the door. Now, I did notice that there is a difference between this version and the N64 version, specifically with Mario, where he throws Bowser. So used to, in the N64 version, when he threw Bowser, he would actually say, and it kind of is strange now, also, this little bunny, this little bunny right here, we're gonna be following him around for a second. Give me just a second. You wanna actually try to catch him right over here. Ah, darn it, I missed. So you wanna catch him because he has a power star and I'm going to try and catch him, I swear. Got him, yay! Yeah, one hands me brute, I'm late, so late, I must make haste. This shiny thing, mine, it's mine, finders, keepers, losers. Ah, late, 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 ouch, take it then, I get from Bowser it was. Now let me be, I have a date, I cannot be late for the tea. Yep, and that is Mips. So he absolutely, absolutely, he actually appears twice. So we will get another star from him, but it's not for a little while. I believe it's at 50 stars you actually get another star from him. But that's not the only free star we're gonna get from the castle. No, 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 no. Here in this little door, you should see... There's a little toady boy. So once you have 15-ish stars, this toad will appear. Maybe it's 16 stars, I don't quite remember. This toad right here will appear. And if you talk to him, hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you do lose your hat, you'll have to find it in the course where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the castles. Please, Mario, you have to help her. Did you know that there are enemy worlds inside the walls? Yep, it's true. Bowser's troops are there too. Oh, here, take this. I've been keeping it for you. Yep, and the toads do have stars. There's not very many of them that do have stars. I believe there's three in the castle that actually do have the stars. So what we want to do now, since we've gotten those two stars, we're going to jump into this world right here. I know it looks weird. This is Hazy Maze Cave. And this is a very interesting world. The one thing that we want to do is find a secret course within this world. It's a little bit hard for me to find. If I don't find it on my first few tries, there are some stars that we're just going to get because... You know, we're just getting, we're here for stars anyways. So we'll get stars and then eventually I'll find where the green hat is. Cause I don't ever remember where it is. And I always feel like it's down here. The reason this is called Hazy Maze Cave. If you look up here, what we're about to go into is this cave right here. The little blue circles are safe spots that you can jump into to basically get breath and that you don't lose health. It's a little weird, rough let me tell you 
So what's gonna happen is we're gonna flop right into here and we already lose one health. Nothing you can really do about that, unfortunately. So just kind of follow along with me. There's a door right here. I think this is what we kind of want to do. I'm already down four health. Let's see how fast it actually goes. It's not that great, honestly. But one of the doors, I think it's in here, actually opens the way to the green cap. And that was not it. <laughs> That was most certainly not it, but we will get a power star nonetheless. This star, for some odd reason, used to give me so much trouble. What you want to do is just jump up, grab onto the little, uh, and just work your way around until you get to the star. Do not fall off until you get onto this platform, and then just get the star. Easy peasy. I believe that's either four, star four or star five. And that's amazing emergency exit. And like I said, I probably was not gonna find that star on the first try or that green cap on the first try. That's star number five, by the way. I probably was not gonna find that on the first try. It's usually pretty hard for me to find. And you know what? I think I just remembered where it is actually. That's okay. We'll get it here in a second. We're gonna try one more time to down here. Let's see if it's actually down here. If it's not, then I know exactly where it is. But I do like to go down here first anyway. Oh, uh, uh, I'm stuck. I do kind of like to go down here first and just kind of deal with all of these. I'm stuck. Okay. And there are enemies down here to give you coins that way. If you need the health refill, the moles unfortunately do not give you health refills. It's those things that actually do. And yes, you still take damage from enemies. So please be very careful. Here's the second door. I think this might be it. Nope, this is not it. This is just another star. <laughs> I believe this is star number four, actually. <laughs> it's very difficult to remember which star is which, honestly. Okay, so it's not in the maze. Okay, that's my bad. Then I know exactly where it is. It's this way. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another star on the way. Cause it's literally right on the way. So it's like, you might as well just grab this darn star, you know? Ah, uh, these rolling things. Watch out for the rocks. Okay, so the star that we're gonna get is actually right here. The way to get it is wall jump. Oh my God. Oh, nope, don't go in there. I This is the let's play curse, I swear. This is the let, oh my God. There we go. I'm not on the right side either. Uh. There we go. Yep, this is where it is. It's it's on the right side. Unfortunately, I screwed up, got on the wrong side. But now we have 30 stars. Once you have 30 stars, there's gonna be a message that pops up, like so. You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But before you move on, how's it going otherwise? <laughs> did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp on the condor to get it back. They said that Bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? We'll deal with that way later, yeah. Basically telling you that there's another Bowser door opened up for you, is what it is. Anytime those messages pop up, it basically means, hey, a new area has opened up for you. I, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, oh, we're safe. I don't care, we're safe. Well, we're slightly, oh my God, we're slightly safe. This area right here can kill you if you're not careful. So we're gonna go down here, take this elevator down. Be very careful if you want to just jump off. Make sure you slide when you get further down, that way you don't take damage. If you do take damage, don't worry about it too much. You can just jump in the water and get your health back. It's kind of a strange little uh, perk about water in a way. So what we wanna do is get on this Dory. Yes, this is Dory. Ground pound the back, get on the head. It'll lift up. And now we can actually control wherever it's going. I know there's a star right there. We're gonna wait on that star. That is actually the number one star. But we're gonna go right over here because I think this is actually where the green cap is. Please, please be right. Yes, this is where the green cap is. All right, we're gonna drop into this right here. Welcome to the metal cap switch course. Once you step on the cap switch, the green blocks will become solid. When you turn your body into metal with the metal cap, you can walk underwater. Try it. Yes, you can. One of the problems that I don't really like with the metal cap, you don't really jump that green. 
It's not the best jumping thing in the world, unfortunately. So there are eight red coins in here and they are a pain in the butt to get. But we are gonna go ahead and plop that down. You just stepped on the metal cap switch. The metal cap makes Mario invincible. Now they'll pop out of the green caps, which you like, or the green blocks, basically, you know. Just like it did with the red one. And there's four. All right, so there are eight red coins. The other four are in the water, and we need... We actually need this green cap in order to get it. Five. Six. Seven. Where's the other one? Eight. Just like that. And that's all eight red coins. Now getting the star before it runs out. Got it, nice. And this will kick you out of Hazy May's cave, but that's perfectly fine because that's all we really wanted to do was get that green switch down because we are gonna need that green switch for a bunch of stars pretty soon. Star number one. So now we're gonna go basically in order at this point. We're gonna start with star number one, which is, I just showed you where it was, so I'll meet you there. I screwed it up. Ah, no, 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 no! Sad day. <laughs> and yeah, so like I said, the power will return once you get into the water. It's kind of a weird mechanic, but it works. So we want to get back on Dory, get back on the head, try and get that that for oh that star. Ugh, well, like not wanting me to get on there. There we go. Boop. Come on. Okay, there we go. And it does get kind of hard to see. Ugh. All right, there we go. That's star number one. It does get kind of hard to see on Dory sometimes. If you're having trouble seeing, try to turn the camera a little bit to where you can actually see. But otherwise, it's not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and just finish out Hazy Maze Cave while we're doing this. Uh, next, we're gonna do the 100 coin star, which is a lot easier said than done on this one, I will say. It is not an easy 100 coin star to do. The red coins are just about as bad. <laughs> So what we want to do is just get that. Unfortunately, if you stop on it again, it does not give you any more coins. Oh my God, I just almost fell off. Yeah, the 100 coins on this one is kind of rough. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful on how we do stuff here. Most of the coins are, are gonna be coming from just the maze and this area in here. So we're gonna take care of the maze first, and then we're gonna come back into that little area and then get our coins from there. So right here, we're gonna get a couple of coins. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think these guys get coins. No, it doesn't look like they give coins. I didn't think they did, but I was not 100% confident. Oh, nope, that's not the way I want to go. This gives coins. You can actually hit it from underneath if you want to. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that one actually hit me. That's all right. Uh, there is a green cap. If you have the green cap on in here, it actually makes it to where you don't lose health when you're in the green. Oh, I got one coin. I can't see where they went. They're kind of being obnoxious and I'm kind of just have tempted to just not get them, honestly. All right, so the blue coins, I don't remember which way they go. Okay, here's the first one and just find where they are and follow their trail. Oh, I missed the last one. Oh shoot, uh, that's not good because you kind of need it. <laughs> if you miss that five, you may have to go over here um, I can't reach that one. There we go, got that one. You may have to go over here and grab the five coins that were on top of this little area right here. I'm trying to think if you absolutely need to, and I'm hoping you don't have to, but I'm going to just do it anyways, because I think you actually have to do this if you do. Because the problem is trying to come back now. You know what? I'm actually just gonna go the safer way, I feel like. At least I feel like this is the safer way. The safer way is not that way. It's definitely not that way. Actually, I wonder if I can hit that from here. Oh, that's risky. Uh, okay, that was risky and I halfway regret doing it to tell you the truth. Man, I half regret doing that. But you know what? We got through it. We got through it. We just need to go this way now. We need to get through this door. All right, we're good. We did it. So where does this take us? It just takes us back into this little area over here. I call that the true exit, even though it just takes you literally right back here. Now, in here, there's eight red coins. So that means there's 16 coins in total from just red coins. Easy enough from that, right? Well, not really, because a lot of the coins that you wanna get 
are not in the best of spots. And yes, this is the bane of everybody's existence. Welcome to Elevator 2. Oh, I messed up already. Welcome to Elevator 2.0. Actually, it's just 1.0, I guess, technically. And yes, if it actually hits something, it will stop. Okay, there's one red coin. There's two red coins. I'm trying to hit that switch to get it. Nope, come on. Unfortunately, you kind of want to try to... Oop, I forgot about that red coin. I did forget about that red coin, by the way. Another thing that you want to try to do is get those five coins from the uh, eyeballs. I forget what they're called, actually. But you want to get the five coins from these. And how to do it is not easy at all. Especially on these little platforms. It's especially, nope, I can't do it from there, unfortunately. So, it's very difficult to do, but you can actually do it. So, I need, let's see, there's eight red, there's eight more red coins, or there's four more red coins, so that's eight coins, so I need another 15. So, where in the heck are we going to find those coins? Well, there's more coins over here. You know, there's five right here. Might as well grab these. Oh, well, we'll just leave one, I guess. There's also more coins in here. Yep, coin. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I believe this is actually a one up. Yes, that is a one up for show. Sure. And I'm just going to drop all the way down and then ground pound. Sweet. Hopefully that will come back because uh, I am going to have to kind of go back. <laughs> so I need. Oh, how many coins do I need? So I need eight. Considering there's four red coins, so that's eight coins in total. So I just need three more. And so you can get three more just from right here. And I know there's more coins around here somewhere. And I'm trying to remember where the heck they are. And I'm like, I am struggling to remember exactly where they are. You know what? I'm going to grab a whole bunch of extras. Just to hopefully make my life a whole lot easier. Now let's hope the actual elevator stays down. Because otherwise, we will uh, have done this for no reason. Okay, good. It came back down. <laughs> I actually did get a little bit worried there. Uh, no, no. Okay. You got to be very, very careful when you do that. Trying to be extremely careful here. I mean, extremely careful because I don't want to fall into pits. Let me tell you. Falling into pits is bad because I'm like two coins away from a coin, the 100 coin star. And so I would be very, 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 very sad if I had to do that again. I did way better on my practice run of this, <laughs> in case you were wondering. Oh, oh, there we go. Got it. Heck yeah. Kill done goods. There one right here. No, darn it. I was kind of hoping there was one right there. There's two right over there, unfortunately. So the unfortunate part about this is the 100 coin star is going to spawn in a very rough spot. And I'm not a hundred percent confident I'm gonna be able to grab it. Nope, I'm not gonna be able to grab that. Well, I am, but I'm gonna have to go back up. Okay, well I got the hundred coin star. Good. Now let's get the rest of the coins. Let's get the rest of the red coins. All right, our next red coin is right here. You got to jump up these, get on this again. You got to do it twice. That can be a little difficult. Make sure, hopefully, you don't get hit by that ding bat. I have been hit by it a couple times, and I have fallen off of it before because of that bat. But just be careful, be gentle, and you should be just fine. There is our eight red coin star. Thank God that this one is actually kind of over. It does get a little bit ridiculous because trying to get the 100 coin star with that one is rough. And now we're going to go to probably a very interesting star, I feel like. We're going to complete the rest of this. They call them courses. I call them worlds. They're basically worlds in all honesty. But let's finish out the rest of this course. The last star in this course is probably one that I have a lot of trouble with. And... I used to have a lot of trouble with it when I was younger. And it's, wow, that was a nice placement. Wow, I'm getting destroyed by that. Okay, cool, good good thing to know. But I used to have a lot of trouble with this star and I'm probably gonna die at least once doing this. So what I need to do and what you need to do as well, you need the green cap. 
Now follow me. Whee! Yes, that is actually the quicker way to do that. <laughs> I love sliding. You just gotta follow this little darker path right here. Keep following it until you hit this switch right here. You cannot hit it with regular Mario. You have to be Metal Mario for this. And then you come upon the hardest thing that has ever graced my presence. Because I hate doing this. Yes, I did it. I did it on the first try. I used to have so much trouble doing those two long jumps that I would always fall. Typically, I would fall on the second one. Because you cannot combo them, or at least I could never combo them. But I believe that, that is going to be all for today. We got 11 stars instead of the normal 12. But we did a Bowser stage. To me, that counts as two. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. As well as that thumbs up letting me know that you're enjoying the content. And I will catch you next time.